Naval Facilities Engineering Systems Command Southwest Commanding Officer Captain Lori Scott joined Navy Region Southwest Commander Rear Admiral Brad Rosen, as well as Naval Base San Diego Commanding Officer Captain Robert Healy and contracting partners from Manson Construction for a ribbon-cutting ceremony for a new ship-birthing pier at Naval Base San Diego on August 17th. NAFAC Southwest was proud to be working with Skipper Healy and his team of professionals in developing this project and selecting a quality contractor like Manson Construction to execute. It's important to note that Manson Construction is no stranger to big waterfront construction for Navy Region Southwest. Manson track record across Region Southwest is long and strong, and we are extremely proud to have partners like Manson on our multiple award construction contract who take pride in delivering quality construction to our installation commanding officers that enable the operational readiness of their supported units. Pier 6 General Purpose Birthing Pier replaces an aging structure that had been in place since 1945. At 120 feet wide and 1,500 feet in length, the new pier is twice as wide as the old pier and significantly longer. The expanded footprint of 180,000 square feet will enable the simultaneous berthing of six ships. The previous pier only accommodated four ships. Increased and adequate ship berthing is required to support the growing number and variety of vessels home ported at Naval Base San Diego. This base is a warfighting platform, make no mistake about it. And this is Pacific Fleet's major home port for over 60 warships. This Pier 6 is an example of the Navy's commitment to that critical infrastructure to support the warfighting readiness of our surface force. As the fleet grows out here, this pier provides additional capacity and capability for our force. Navifax Southwest awarded a contract April 30th, 2021 in San Diego to Manson Construction of Seattle, Washington to execute work on the Pier 6 project. Construction of the new pier cost $101.4 million and took just under two years. Uh, so I, I just wanted to say thank you again to NAVFAC, Naval Base San Diego, our Manson project team and their spouses or families, and to our partners, um, in particular Synergies here today, our electrician, they are a partner in every one of these projects we work with. And uh, a special thanks to our craft people. I'm not sure any of those, those men and women are here today, but they are the ones that come every day and put the work together and build this beautiful project and uh, make it a safe project. So thank you to all of you for uh, being a part of this. And really thank you for the job, an exceptional job, a job well done. By any measure that you measure a project, this project has been successful. Safety is second to none. It's, uh, it, it is quite incredible to have zero injuries. We have the new pier structure consists of pre-stressed concrete piles supporting a concrete superstructure with high-mast lighting and pier entrance lights. The pier also features loadout ramp cradles on each side of the new pier that will allow sailors to load and unload vessels more efficiently. Design and construction of the new pier accounted for the potential of a rise in sea levels over the 75-year presumed lifespan of the structure. Pier 6 is also equipped with a range of electrical and mechanical utilities that will improve the user experience. These include a combined potable water and looped fire water suppression system, sanitary sewer system, storm water collection and treatment system, as well as numerous ship-to-shore utilities, including electrical, telephone, cable television, and fiber optic communications. Naval Facilities Engineering Systems Command Southwest supports planning, design, construction, real estate, environmental and public works for U.S. Navy, Marine Corps, Army, Air Force, and other supported federal agencies in Arizona, California, Nevada, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado.